Right, Chris. So I'm including the reporting of my colleague uh, Jonathan Deanst and I, uh, four senior law enforcement officials briefed on the matter, tell NBC News that a vehicle apparently approached this checkpoint or inspection building at a very high rate of speed, hits that structure, catches on fire, and then explodes from there. However, and I think this is potentially quite important, and of course this information is early, it's subject to change as evidence comes in, but an initial sweep of that vehicle did not indicate that there was a secondary device. So in other words, there's no indication at this point that there was a bomb on board this vehicle in any sort of way. Uh, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing that we're hearing from those officials is that there were two occupants of the vehicle, then um, there are two casualties as a result of this, and I think the pictures that are uh, circulating that uh, we'll hopefully be able to bring to you shortly uh, will indicate why that's uh, why that's the case. The damage appears to be extraordinary based on some things that are uh, being sent to us at this time. So uh, we should have those uh, for you shortly. And then the third thing is they are trying to determine whether or not this incident was intentional. Of course, if it was intentional, then what is the motive behind it? Is it anti-government? Is it uh, some sort of terrorism on behalf of a, of a foreign or inspired by a foreign terrorist organization? It's just just too soon to say, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to share that information with you shortly as authorities develop evidence. But again, it's just based on what they've been able to collect so far, Chris, uh, the initial indication, vehicle, high rate of speed, hits the structure, there's a fire, then a subsequent explosion, but authorities have not been able to find any sort of secondary device. Uh, so the feeling in law enforcement circles is that it's not a VBIED, which is a vehicle-borne uh, uh, improvised explosive device. And so uh, that's where this stands as we get more, as we start to uh, develop any sort of information from our reporting on uh, the identities of these individuals and uh, what may have happened here. Of course, I'll jump back on with you right away.